BGP look prevention mechanism. So in this slide, we will look into how the BGP prevent forming of look promise environment. So before I explain this, let me explain it to you what is look and uh, what happen if there is a look in the environment. So let's say we have the router R1 connected to R2. We have R3 and then we have R4 and back to R1. Let's say we have an update which is generated from R1 and then it has been sent to R2 and R2 send it to R3, R3 to R4 and from R4 back to R1. So this is the scenario which is known as loop. And if there is a loop in a network, uh, within a fraction of a second, you will feel like the entire network become very slow. Okay. And within a minute, uh, everything will be stopped working in the uh, network. So having a look in the environment is uh, bad. So there must be a mechanism to avoid the forming of a loop from the environment. So the BGP uh, has it uh, own default loop prevention mechanism, uh, which is used by BGP to prevent the forming of loop from its environment. Okay. So let me explain to you how it is. So let's say we have the four router here. Okay. So the router are R1, R2, R3, and then R4. Okay. So as I explained it to you in my first slide that uh, the BGP is a path vector routing protocol. When BGP uh, sends an update from uh, one router to another router, it always uh, append its own case number. So the same case here. So let's say we have the update here from uh, router R1, send it to the R2 and then uh, R3, from R2 to R3 and from R3 to R4, okay. So when we will look into the routing table, the uh, R4, we will see that this network has, uh, uh, you know, send it from the R1. So we will see this always uh, the AS number of the R1. So this update has originated from the AS number 6533, which is the R1, and then it has sent to uh, 6544, which is R2, and from this R2, it has sent to the uh, router 3, which is 6511. Okay, and now we are at R4. So at R4, when we see the routing table, we will see this this update. Okay, when R4 will send this update to the back to R1, the R1 will not accept the routes. Okay, so what happened in case of BGP is this when an update will receive by a router, he always check the AS number and if he finds that his own AS number is present in this update, he will not accept this update. So this is the same uh, case here. When R4 will send this update to the R1, the R1 will look into the AS number and when uh, the R1 will find his own AS number present in this update, he will not accept this update, he will deny this update. Okay. So this is here mentioned that uh, the update 170.10.0.0/16. This this is the update has been uh, initiated from the R1 and it has sent across the network and from the R4 when the update has been sent to back to R1, the R1 will deny this update. He will not accept this update. Okay. So this is the default uh, mechanism in BGP for uh, avoiding the loop in its uh, environment. So the same thing mentioned in my the second and third uh, points. Advertise update along with the path information. So BGP is a path vector routing protocol. He always sends an update along with its own AS number and duplicity of the AS number deny the update. So as I explained, if the BGP find there is any uh, AS number which belongs to its own AS number presence in this update, he will automatically uh, ex will not accept this update. Okay, so this is the case which we follow in EBG. Okay, and let, let's see how the IBG prevent the forming of look from its environment. So this is also a default mechanism we will find under under the IBG. Okay, so let's say. Um, we have the router 
R1 connected to R2, R3, and then R4. And this is the AS number 200. R2 we have 200, R3 we have 200, and R4 we have 200. And R1 we have 100, which is the AS number. The relationship between R1 and R2 we have EBG. And the relationship between uh, R2, R3, R4 is the IBG. Okay. So, as my first point says, update from EBGP can be forwarded. So, let's say we have the update which is 192.168.100.24. So, this is the update has sent from R1 to the R2. Okay. So, here. For R2 perspective, he has the EVGP relationship between R1. Okay. Now, and the update that R2 has received. When we will see into the routing table at R2, we will find that he has received this update from R1. Okay. From R1. So, from R2 perspective, he has the EVGP relationship with R1. So, this update can be forwarded to the R3. So, the relationship between R2 and R3, we have the IBGP. Okay. So, the update R2 has received, this is an EBGP update from R1. This can be forwarded to R3. Okay. But for the R3 perspective, he has received the update from R2. And he has the IBGP relationship between R3 to R2. Okay. So, for R3, he has received the IBGP update. Okay. So, if a router received the update from its neighbor and if he has an IBGP relationship with that neighbor, the update will not be forwarded to the R4. So, this is a default mechanism. Okay. How the loop prevention mechanism work in IBGP. Okay. So, as my uh, second point says, the update between two IBGP denied. Okay, so this is all about the perspective. The relationship between R1 and R2, we have the EBGP relationship. Okay, R2 has received, received an update from R1, which is EBGP. So, for R2 perspective, he has received the update from uh, EBGP neighbor and then he has forwarded this, this update to R3. But for R3 perspective, he has received this update from R2 and he has the IBGP relationship between R3 and R2. Since he has the IBG relationship with R2, he will not forward this update to the R4. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this is the default mechanism how the loop prevention work under the IBGP. Okay. Thank you.